Hello everyone. So this week's topic is the recycler view and its counterpart, the card view. So recycler views are a pretty cool thing. Um, they're in probably just about any Android application you have used lately. So let's get into it and just give you a quick introduction of these things. They're actually pretty complicated, but they're very cool looking once you get them going. All right. So what is the recycler view? The recycler view is a list of information, but on steroids, right? So if you're in a position where you need to display a bunch of different things, um, if you want just like a list of text options, like if you're selecting things from which pizza you want or something like that, if it's real boring information, there are other things you can use. You can use a list view with a list adapter. Those things are great. But if you want to have nice customized lists of information, right? Not just words, but maybe you've got pictures or icons or things like that. You want a recycler view. Okay, it's got a couple of things for it. Um, as I mentioned before, I think, Recycler View is Android's preferred way of showing lists of items. So when you go to the Android documentation these days, you'll see that they use Recycler Views in their examples. Um, the Recycler View has a lot of benefits. So first of all, what you want to show in your list of stuff, what is an item in a list, what does it mean to you, that is totally customizable by you. It can be a list of images, of texts, of icons, all three. Um, a recycler view has a couple of different uh, layouts for its list of information. I'll show you them in a, another slide. And it really importantly, and this is the reason Android and pushes it so much, is it intelligently recycles the widgets that are on the screen. That's why it's called a recycler view. So what do I mean by recycling widgets? I mean that drawing widgets is expensive, right? Actually putting things on the screen is expensive, sizing it, figuring out if stuff fits, all that sort of stuff. Android, in a recycler view, uh, takes the widget, remembers it, remembers its dimensions and its layout and things like that, but replaces the content, right? Now in a list, this is kind of what it, well, in a list, this can be important because, you know, say you've got uh, an Instagram with like a, a thousand different pictures in it, right? It's more efficient to like say, and this is a recycler view, by the way, and what it's displaying is a list of little pictures here. Say there's a thousand pictures on this person's account. The way the recycler view kind of does things differently is I see nine tiles here, and these are my list elements. What it does is it kind of figures out the dimensions of these nine tiles and, and their padding and their margin and all that good stuff. But then as you like scroll up or scroll down and you put different pictures on the screen, the recycler view put changes the content of the widget, but really it uses the same widget object, like the same Java class object, but replaces its variable data. And this is recycling. It recycles the objects by putting different data in there. Why is that a good thing? Well, if this person has a thousand pictures on their Instagram account, you don't want Android-like downloading all thousand at one time at once and building a thousand different widgets, right? And there's two inefficiencies to that. One is you've got to download a thousand things. Okay, well, maybe I'll just make my program smart and not download a thousand. Maybe I'll just get the first 32, 64, whatever. But there's also inefficiency in creating those thousand widgets, even if you're only creating them on demand. Right, so that's kind of the power of the recycler view. On the downside, the recycler view is, um, it's a little tedious to set up. It's a little tricky, a little more complicated than any other view we have looked at. And capturing interactions, like if you click on this particular picture, capturing interactions inside a recycler view is a little tangled, but totally doable. Um, as I mentioned, there are a couple of different layout options for the recycler view. Uh, these are all examples of recycler views. So I think this is maybe the Kindle app. Um, 
these are items in the list, right? These are in a linear fashion. You've got grid layouts like we've got here and what uh, is called a staggered grid where things can kind of, you know, there's two columns here, but the number of rows is sort of variable, right? And you've probably all seen examples of these. All right, so that's the recycler view. The recycler view is like a layout handler for lists. Okay, it puts a list of things on the screen. The actual content that we have seen in this picture and in these pictures here, those are card views. Now a card view is a widget and it's meant to display things, right? And it's very flexible. Um, it is sort of the ultimate metaphor in material design. If you remember from the last video, when we talked about material design, the material in material design is paper, cardstock that lay is laying on a surface, right? So a card view is meant to represent a piece of card stock with something on it laying on a surface. The cards are elevated on the background using drop shadow. You can round these corners if you like. Um, but the content, what actually goes in the card, right? The card is a rectangle. That's the main thing about it. And the content is specified in a layout file, just like you do with like your whole activities, right? So it's it's just like a, a tiny little square that you have a lot of control over what goes inside of it, right? And the recycler view is really good at reusing these things. It kind of expects these card views in them, right? And they're, they're pretty cool, they're pretty powerful. And again, they're sort of like de facto how Android wants you to display lists of information using this card view. Okay, so all these uh, example apps, we've got like the Google Photo app, um, here's the score, sports news. Um, each of these things, you know, each picture here in uh, Google Photos is a card view, right? And it, they even have like slightly different customizable data. There's obviously the picture is different. Some of them are movies, right? So this has um, a timestamp and a little play icon. This one is not a movie, so it doesn't have those things. That's stuff that you can program and control with your card view, so pretty cool stuff. Um, but it is intensely flexible. Uh, this thing right here, so you got this picture of this, uh, the coach for the New York Jets, or the former coach, and then um, down below it, you've got, or excuse me, up above it, you've got kind of like a title, and down below it, you've got the share button or send button. This whole thing right here is actually a card view. So the card itself is kind of like a layered complex thing. The card view can contain other layouts, like maybe this is a linear layout to give you the, the thing stacked up all nicely, okay? But the card is an entire entity. Same thing over here, right? Here's some travel website for, looks like Australia. Um, they've got a picture up at the top. This one whole thing right here is a card, right? They've got a picture up at the top with a title and some shadowy background, some text down here, two buttons. All this stuff is a card, right? So a card is kind of like a mini layout file for an activity, right? You have control and you format it just like an activity screen you would do. Okay, so very powerful, very cool, very flexible. Um, I want to introduce you to, I'm going to get rid of myself here. I want to introduce you to a roadmap for working with these things. Now, in this video, this is all probably not going to make a lot of sense. So what I want you to do is go do the lab for this chapter, chapter 13 of your book. Uh, do the Google official Android exercises on Recycler View and the Card View that are linked in your module, and then come back to the slide because it's important for you to understand how the pieces get connected in the code. It'll help you debug things a lot better when you run into some weird errors when you set up these things, okay? So, the Recycler View, right? You've got an activity, and this is true for any uh, activity in your app. You've got your onCreate method. The first thing that happens in onCreate is you do set content view and you point it to the layout file for the activity. Okay. Inside the main activity you've got some sort of parent layout. Here I've got a linear layout. And inside the parent layout, uh, which could be a constraint layout, you have a recycler view widget. Right. 
All right, so this is saying, all right, when you call set content view, um, fire up this recycler view, load it into memory, and let's get to work on it. All right, um, now, a couple steps down, the layout manager, you're going to set that. That decides, is this a grid layout? Is it a linear layout for your recycler? And then set adapter. Okay, so what is an adapter? An adapter is a design pattern in software development. What the adapter does is it provides a window onto some data. Okay, um, it is, it, it's like the bridge, it's the translator. So say you've got a whole bunch of raw information about like a person's Instagram post. It's got the date, the time, the name, the picture that's associated with it, some comments, etc., etc., etc. That's the raw data. What adapters do in general in computing is they're going to take that raw data and they're going to maybe manipulate it, maybe omit some of it to provide the necessary information, the necessary data to some consumer of that data. And so in this case, the consumer of the data is going to be the recycler view. It's going to show the data. The captioned images adapter here, and this is just the name for the one that I use, but it is an adapter. The captioned images adapter, its job is to kind of take the raw data and build up some information to give to the recycler view. Okay, so when what happens here is when the captioned image, image adapter is attached to the recycler view, it has a thing called a view holder in it. Okay? The way to think of the view holder is that it's like the grid, the blueprint on the screen. It's this thing, but without any content in it. Okay, So you're telling the recycler view, hey, there's a grid. It's four wide and uh, four columns wide and two rows high. Okay, um, That's where you're going to put stuff, Mr. Recycler View. Okay, And what are you going to put in here? Well, you're going to put one of these. Uh, you're going to inflate and put in one of these card things. Well, what is the card? That is the card view that gets specified in this XML file. Okay, so Mr. what you're saying here is Mr. Recycler View, here's an adapter. The adapter is going to give you these things, these kind of like empty spaces, the reusable recycled things, and it's going to provide to you the specific data that goes into each specific thing um, as, you, as the user is like swiping up and down and scrolling through the list. Okay, so when you initialize the adapter, you create the view holder, the grid, the whatever that's going to hold these things. And then finally, whenever the adapter, whenever the recycler view is actually drawn on the screen, this gets triggered on bind view holder. And on bind view holder fills each member of this grid with its particular data. Okay. So the, effectively, the grid will stay the same, but imagine I've got a whole bunch more pictures down here. As the user swipes up and down, uh, the content of the grid will change, but the grid will always kind of be there. All right? So, yeah, that's a lot to digest, a little confusing. Come back to this part of the video. Come back to this slide after you've worked through the chapter. See if this helps you out a little bit. All right, that's it for this uh, module uh, introduction, and I will talk to you next time.